Algol, designated Beta Persei, and known colloquially as the Demon Star, is a bright multiple star in the constellation of Perseus, and one of the first non-Nova variable stars to be discovered. Hi everyone, Vega here, and after our winter recess, we return to our brightest star series to take a look at a star with an extremely scary nickname indeed, the Demon Star, so let's get to it. First of all, thanks to Tengor and Stan for giving me the idea for this video. If anyone wants to see any of the stars covered, let me know in the comments below. Algol is a three-star system, consisting of the stars Beta Persei, AA1, AA2 and AB. Hot Luminous Primary Beta Persei AA1 is the larger star and is coupled with the cooler and fainter Beta Persei AA2. Two stars regularly pass in front of each other, causing eclipses. We can see this happening here in the graphic, and the star system lies some 94 light years away, so it's quite curious to be able to see such a distant event happening before our very eyes. What this means is that Algol's magnitude is usually near constant at 2.1, but regularly dips to 3.4 every 2.86 days, during the roughly 10 hour long partial eclipses of the brighter of the two stars. Interestingly, the secondary eclipse, when the brighter primary star calls the fainter secondary, is very shallow and can't really be detected very easily. Algol is actually quite an important star in this respect, as it gives its name to a class of eclipsing variable, known as Algol variables. In this graphic we see the slightly elongated appearance of Algol AA2, and the rounder appearance of Algol AA1 are actually real, but the form of Algol AB isn't actually as it seems. The three stars are in different categories. Primary AA1 is a B-type main sequence star with the designation of B85, making it at the dimmer end of the B-class, although it remains one of the closer B-type stars to our solar system. The secondary is a K-type orange star of the subgiant class, 4, which is highly distorted by the more massive star, whereas the fainter and more distant member of the system is an F-type main sequence star. Neither of the secondary stars would be easily visible without a telescope, and as a grouping the B-type star is dominant. So this is all very well, but the question has to be, why is Algol called the Demon Star? It's obviously quite an intriguing and ominous nickname. Well the story is that with roots in ancient astronomy and mythology, it seems that the star's unusual and variable brightness pattern puzzled early observers, as it appeared to blink or change brightness in a way that other stars didn't. Of course, in ancient times, people often associated unexplainable celestial phenomena with supernatural events or beings, and Algol's fluctuating brightness led to its association with demonic influences. Indeed, the Arabic name Algol itself is derived from the phrase Al-Ghul, meaning the ghoul or the demon. Interestingly, Algol's variability was known long before the 17th century, although the Arabic astronomer Al-Sufi said nothing about any variability of the star in his book of fixed stars, published circa the year 964. From our point of view here on Earth, Algol AA1 and Algol AA2's orbital plane is in direct line of sight to the Earth, and the two are separated by only 0.062 astronomical units from each other. The third star, Algol AB, is at an average distance of 2.69 astronomical units from the pair, so still not all that far away, relatively speaking and similar to Ceres in the asteroid belt, and the mutual orbital period of this star and the principal stars AA1 and AA2 is 681 Earth days, or almost two years. One of the mysteries of the Algol system is that although components of a binary star form at the same time, massive stars evolve much faster than less massive stars, but curiously the more massive component, Algol AA1, is still in the main sequence, whereas the less massive Algol AA2 is now a subgiant star and has left the main sequence and is at a later evolutionary stage. This paradox, however, can be solved by mass transfer. When the more massive star threatened to become a subgiant itself, it filled what's called a Roche lobe, or a teardrop-like shaped region around a star in a binary system within which orbiting material is gravitationally bound to that star. Most of that mass then was transferred to the other star, which was at that point still in the main sequence, and presumably the process has continued ever since. In some binaries similar to Algol indeed, a gas flow can be seen. Indeed, the system also exhibits X-ray and radio wave flares that are thought to be caused by the magnetic fields of the A and B components interacting with the mass transfer. Another curious fact about Beta Persei is that about 7.3 million years ago, 
It passed within 9.8 light years of the solar system, and this left the system's apparent magnitude in those days at about minus 2.5, which was considerably brighter than the star of Sirius is today. Because of the total mass of the Algol system is about 5.8 solar masses, at closest approach this fascinatingly might have given enough gravity to perturb the Oort cloud of the solar system somewhat, and hence increase the number of comets entering the inner solar system, another reason why it could be called the Demon Star indeed, although the actual increase in net cometary collisions is thought to have been quite small. In today's final graphic, we imagine what we might see in a speeded up time lapse if we were to look upon the Algol binary stars from the vantage point of Earth. We would obviously not survive long, but the incredible dance we would see as the primary B type is orbited and eclipsed by the K subgiant, and vice versa, over a 2.86 day period, is incredible to consider. Algol is a three star system in the Perseus constellation. Its primary pairing are close in orbit, and the two stars' orbital plane is in direct line of sight, meaning we see regular eclipses. These eclipses seem to make the star flicker, and for this reason the star has acquired the terrifying nickname of the Demon Star. If Algol were to replace our Sun at the centre of the solar system, our Earth would quickly warm up beyond boiling point, and humanity wouldn't last long, but the view for the final few days of humanity on Earth would sure be something to see. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you'd like to support the channel further, you could consider joining the channel, or alternatively buy me a coffee and I'll link this in the description. Many thanks to those of you who have already done so. Take good care of yourselves, look after your friends and family as well, and I'll see you on the next one.